After an unprecedented wildfire season last year, Fox 12 is on fire watch. Oregon Fire and emergency management leaders say they're bracing for another intense summer with continued drought conditions, low precipitation, and hot temperatures. We too. were just talking in the newsroom the other day about that, those smoky days that mm -hmm. we had, how awful that was last summer. Fox 12 Sarah Hurwitz is live with some important warnings from state leaders concerning this summer. Sarah? Oh yeah, good evening. You know, fire officials say that much of the state is in a drought. So really, no matter where you live, wildfire season should be top of mind, especially when wildfire uh, officials are saying that we should have hotter than normal temperatures for the next three months. What we saw last year as wildfires destroyed Oregon towns and cities unprecedented. This year, we are looking at fires in a different way this year, really from a year perspective versus a fire season. The Oregon State Fire Marshal's office says with wildfires already igniting, it's overshadowing of what's to come. We saw a significant fire at the local level um, with an early fire uh, early this season, March, which marked a level three evacuation of 182 homes. And that signifies where we are in terms of fuels and conditions. We've seen um, three fires to date in Klamath that threatened structures. Uh, the milepost 85 fire yesterday. Take a look at this map from the Oregon State Fire Marshal's office and the Oregon Department of Forestry. It shows that most of the state is in a drought. That coupled with hotter than normal temperatures and low precipitation will make for a busier wildfire season. I'm asking every Oregonian to plan on being a disaster survivor. And we know that smoke was such a huge issue here in Oregon, some of the worst air quality in the state last summer. DEQ did also say in that briefing that it's working on expanding some of its air monitoring stations across the state. And if you do want to check up on air quality yourself, there's a couple of good tools. They talked about the open air app. It's something that you can download on your cell phone. And there's also a blog, and we will have a link to that, web, that on our website, kptv.com. Reporting live here in Beaverton, Sarah Hurwitz, Fox 12 Oregon.